Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The former Prime Minister Gordon Brown said the European Union could be put at risk if those who want to leave are allowed to pose as what he called the sole defenders of Britain. Well, tomorrow sees the formal launch of one group that wants to take Britain out of Europe, Vote Leave. Allegra Stratton is here to tell us uh, what we can expect. I don't know if many people will be familiar with their name. Tell us who, who, what they it's are. It's a new name. That's why it's right. been launched tomorrow. So it's a cross-party group of MPs, uh, Tory, Labour, but most importantly, probably it's got the one UKIP MP, it's got Douglas Carswell. It's also announcing tomorrow they have a long, long list of businessmen and there's, it also includes former political party treasurers like Peter Crudder said Tory. So they've given us advanced access to their campaign video. The pitch, I will show it you in a second, the pitch they're making is that there's economic gains to be had from leaving Europe. Once upon a time, the emphasis was always on the negativity of Europe, how it is sort of suppressing us, but they're trying to flip that on its head and talk about gains. The fluttering things that people are about to see are what they think is UK taxpayers' money coming back to this country away from Europe and helping us to build all sorts of things like hospitals. You almost missed the fluttering. So there we go. So positive, positive, positive. Not about how you, Europe is suppressing things. Um, and we asked one of their campaign team to explain the pitch to us. Well, our pitch is going to be that leaving the EU will be better because, firstly, you know, the cost of the EU in terms of the £350 million we hand to Brussels out each week, the cost of a new fully staffed hospital, the cost to our economy in terms of regulation, the cost to uh, our democracy in terms of the fact that, you know, Many of the decisions that affect daily lives, such as prisoner voting, they are no longer taken in the UK. But also the control of policy issues that you know, we should be deciding back in the British Parliament, not in Brussels. And finally, the fact that actually voting to leave the EU is going to be the safer option because the EU is going to integrate, it's going to base itself around the Eurozone, and those things are not going to be good for Britain. So what's the strategy behind this? Uh, it's the following, which is... British public opinion on Europe is a bit like a Christmas cracker. You have 30% on the end that believe uh, we should leave come what may. You have 30% in the middle that is undecided. And then at the other end, you have 30% that is quite keen on remaining. And over the course of this referendum campaign, they will pull and pull and pull and try to get as much of that middle group mm. as they can. Now, Vote Leave have formed a judgment that what concerns that middle group is that quite a few of them would like to, to leave, but they're very worried about jobs, economic security. Immigration, not so much. So it's about if we leave, it might be something that appeals to me, but the moment we do, does my job go? So that's why you have the huge long list of businessmen coming out tomorrow to support Vote Leave, because they're trying to make this emphasis. It isn't about immigration for them. They think immigration is key for a lot of groups across Britain, but it isn't going to be the thing that shifts the actual kind of, right, I'm, that's how mm. I'm going to cast my vote. It's sort of percolating around in the background, but won't be the decider. There's already been a lot of argument about who will be the official vote of the Leave campaign, or the, the voice, I yeah, should say, of the Leave yeah. campaign. Will it be them? Does it look like it will be? Uh, lots of people do think it will be them, not least because they have this cross-party mix. So the, uh, up against them is, is UKIP, is uh, Aaron Banks, who's a very influential UKIP donor, Nigel Farage. That team has formed a judgment that with the migrant crisis at the moment and so on, come off it, who are you kidding? The thing that is going to galvanise people to get up and vote is going to be immigration. Stop overthinking it, it's quite simple. Of course, there's then a debate about whether that, that voice and that group ends up putting off some people who are also sitting on the edge. So it's pretty complicated. These guys will jostle for who will be the official campaign. We just don't know. It'll be decided soon enough. But I think the key thing is this referendum campaign could go really, really long. It could be as much as two years away. Goodness, there's a thought. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I've been getting away.